Welcome back to Bazaar Morning Call. We begin the day uh, expecting the markets to open in the red. The implied opening on the Nifty is about 130 points lower. But this has largely been a buy on dips market. So let's see how it goes. Lots of stocks in focus this morning. So let's get straight to it. Reema is joining in first up to tell us about Vodafone and Indus Towers and why you should be watching those stocks. Reema, over to you. Thanks so much for that. So Vodafone has announced that they will be launching an eight, up to 18,000 crore follow-on public offering, FPO, on the 18th of April, that's next week. The Capital Raising Committee will meet today to discuss uh, the price ban and the discount for the FPO. Uh, the company will also participate in roadshows from the 15th of April till the closing of the offer. Now, the news is mixed. On one hand, finally, that much-awaited fundraise is kicking off for the company. They're raising that promised 18,000 crore rupees because they've already raised a little more than 2,000 crore rupees from the promoters. So total uh, external equity fundraise will be close to about 20,000 crore plus or close to 20,000 crore. But it's also, uh, remember that the FPO is likely to take place at a discount. And it's a large FPO, 18,000 crore rupees. So there is going to be a dilution involved. But the news is positive for Indastars. Back to you. Okay, thanks a lot for that, Rima. Well, let's hop across to Ekta. She's here because she's tracking Sun Pharma and Dr. Eddie's. Morning, Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, for Sun Pharma, I expect the stock to be in the red today. And that is because the US FDA has classified their Dadra unit as official action indicated. So that means uh, that there's a possibility of an escalation on that particular unit if in case the uh, observations are not resolved successfully. Now, the US FDA had conducted the inspection from December 4th to 15th. And they had issued six observations to this particular unit. The company has said that they will work with the regulator to achieve full compliance status. Dr. Reddy's is in focus because they've launched a drug-free migraine management device, Nerivio, in Germany. So it will mark their entry into Europe. This is after a successful launch in India. They will be launching it in South Africa later this month, followed by launches in Spain and UK. Why is this important? Is because when people suffer from migraines, this is a digital, this is a med tech device which can help resolve migraines as opposed to just taking medicines. Okay, uh, mm. for sure, going to be a lot of takers for that one. Uh, we'll see. Thanks very much, Ekta, for that. Coming back to you for more, but uh, let's shift and pivot to power as a sector and green power more specifically. We're talking about NTPC. Vivek is here with details. Vivek, morning. Well, good morning. You know, you're absolutely right, given the fact that the entire renewable energy space will be in focus. So, Money Control reports that NTPC has gone ahead and appointed investment bankers to launch the IPO for its subsidy, which is the renewable energy arm of the company, which is known as NTPC Green Energy. In fact, Money Control says that the company may be looking to garner almost 10,000 crores via this particular IPO. And they've gone ahead and appointed IDBI Capital, IFL Securities, Nuvama Wealth, as well as HDFC Bank to go ahead and launch this particular IPO. What will the IPO proceeds be used for? As for Money Control, they will be funding ongoing as well as future solar energy capex, green hydrogen, as well as green energy ammonia capex is what the proceeds will be utilized for. Just to give a sense of, you know, what is the total... Uh, uh, portion of renewable energy in NTPC's overall pie. NTPC currently has capacity of almost 74 gigawatt of its renewable as per the company currently, which is operational, is uh, close to 3.4 gigawatt. The company, however, has stated that by FI26, their guidance is to reach almost 15 gigawatt of renewable ca energy capacity. Important to know that we have not independently verified this particular report. All right. Thanks a lot for that. Well, let's go back to Ekta. She's tracking Metropolis Health. Ekta, over to you. Well, yes, they've come out with a Q4 business update. Revenue was up around 10 odd percent, despite the fact that, uh, you know, they had a lot of holidays in the month of March. Core business revenue was up 15 percent. The company has said it was driven by a volume rate growth of nearly 8 percent, revenue patient uh, growth of around 7 percent on a year on year basis. Their B2C business was up in double, double digits as well. The company has indicated that competition intensity has been reducing over the past 6 to 12 months. Now, in terms of margins, they expect it to be higher due to increase in volume and price. The company has also now become debt-free. So overall, the, there were positive indications which came in for Metropolis. I expect it to be in the green today. Okay, all right. Take that. Thanks a lot uh, for that. Well, let's hop across to Vamakshi. She's got some more stocks that she's tracking. Morning, Vamakshi. 
Well, good morning, Nigel. Let me first start off with Phoenix Mills. The company reported a Q4 update. In the fourth quarter, total consumption was up almost 27%, while gross retail collections were up nearly 37%. Morgan Stanley says that the company reported 9% year-on-year growth in same-store sales consumption in quarter four. Uh, this is uh, higher as compared to quarter three, wherein they reported a nearly 5% jump. The, uh, the same-store consumption data is also higher than what uh, the consensus was expecting. So given that, Morgan Stanley has an overweight call on Phoenix Mills target price of 3,000 rupees per share and expect the stock to open higher on the back of this. Maharashtra Seamless also in focus. The company has received work orders worth 674 crores from ONGC for supply of casing seamless pipes. Oil India, on the other hand, is expected to open lower and that is because a leakage incident was reported at the X mass tree of a well in Assam. Oil India personnel rushed to the site and controlled the leak. The company says that an internal inquiry is being conducted for a thorough investigation. They also have reassured that the well is in completely controlled and closed condition but expect the stock to open lower on the back of this announcement. And lastly, let's also focus in on Uno Minda. The stock is expected to open higher after the company announced its expansion plans. They will be securing a land parcel in IMT Kharkhoda for a greenfield uh, alloy wheel plant and they will be investing nearly 542 crores over the next five years. All right, thanks a lot for that. Well, here's a quick recap of our top stocks. Stocks with positive news flow, Indus Towers, NTPC, Dr. Reddy's, Metropolis Healthcare, Phoenix Mills, Maharashtra Seamless and Uno Minda. While stocks with negative news flow, Vodafone Idea, Sun Pharma and Oil India. But let's go across to Manisha Gupta to find out how much more is gold surging and whether, you know, people have been able to decipher the big move behind gold. Manisha, hi, good morning. What's happening in the commodity markets today? Well, uh, we are looking at stronger gains continuing today as well. Uh, at best, the U.S. inflation data that came in yesterday has been on the mixed side. So whether it's uh, producer inflation, labor data, that doesn't give you so much. The markets are worried either ways, whether it's about safe haven buying in sense of inflation or because you will see rate cuts. So either ways, gold seems to be getting it from both the worlds there. We are now standing at $2,400 an ounce. And interestingly, I was looking at... Uh, uh, various uh, reports for 2025 as well, and a price forecast anywhere between 1800 on the lower side to 2800 on the higher side is what the next year could also show. So clearly, volatile moves ahead, but the street uh, will continue to watch out on rate cut scenario going forward. There is very strong buying that we've seen from central banks and the speculative trade as well. In the other side, uh, aluminum has hit a new 14-month highs. Even the crude oil prices are back above $90 a barrel right now. The markets are looking at geopolitics political concerns as well and that in turn seems to be supportive all right uh, Marisha, thanks very much uh, for that so <clears throat> you know well supported uh, commodities uh, even now we'll take a quick commercial break here Siddharth Kemka head retail research in multi for well financial services joins in with specific stock ideas on the other side stay tuned that's coming up